Seam slippage process control. What is seam slippage? Seam slippage occurs when the fabric at either side of the stitching distorts and the fabric yarns slip away from the seam resulting in a permanent gap within the fabric. Seam slippage is due primarily to the construction of the fabric, especially loosely woven and lightweight fabrics. Seam slippage at joining seams, at plackets, cuffs, neck band, neck binding attaching and side slits, etc. Solutions Increase the seam allowances Change the seam type Increase or decrease SPI depending upon fabric. Cut on bias wherever applicable. Plackets, cups try to do patch instead of cut and sew. Do interior binding instead of exterior. Seam slippage testing machine. Seams are pulled as per the standard force based on the fabric wise. Following seams options to improve the seam strength. Seam open press with overlock edges. Sew normal 1 cm seam allowance and do the 2 mm top stitching either side of seam. Next is French seam. Next open press an additional stitch inside seam allowance together and fold. Seams with pleat seam. This is the best solution. Step 1 we need 1.5 cm seam allowance. And then lock stitch. Step 2 flip each layer of seam allowance to the other side then edge stitch all layers with 301 stitch step. 3 flip back each layer of seam allowance to the other side, then join both layers of seam allowance by overlocking stitch. This seam is perfect for maximum seams. Seam slippage control for plackets, cuffs, and neckband. Step 1 Fold the seam to other side. Step 2 Add 1 mm edge stitching. Step 3 Turn back the seam allowance. Step 4 Now attach the placket, cuffs, and neckband etc. Seam slippage control at sleeve placket. Step 1 We need to keep the under placket with half to upper placket so that placket closing stitch is not coming or attached seam. Thanks for watching.